Hello, so we need to find ourselves some power armor or something. Looks like D is open. Maybe. Oh, Grim. found one of the power suits. There's a dead woman inside. At least I think it's a woman. Just like the body we found in the annex. She's missing her head. That's lucky. Gross. This could work in our favor, though. Look for a terminal nearby. See if you can boot it up. Pressure power suit guaranteed to withstand temperature spanning from 50C to minus 75C. Keeping a steady foot. That's that's pretty warm for the inside of a suit. Attention required. Don't write it off just yet. Remember what we found out at Theta. The suit you are wearing is basically just a Cortex chip working a few kinds of structure gel powered by the on-suit battery pack. And a dead colleague, Imogen Reed. Exactly. If you think about it, we're actually incredibly lucky. We found a suit with an already dead body inside. I guess you're right. What about the wow? What makes you think it'll play along? It's not magic, it's algorithms. A set pattern. The WoW won't be able to deny us, even if it was capable of wanting to. I'm still not crazy about this plan. It feels wrong. Please, Simon. I can't give up on the Ark. I need this to work. So we need a Cortex chip, structure gel, and a battery pack. That's one hell of a shopping list. Thanks. I'll just hang around here if that's okay. I'll be back. Well, that's the airlock. We don't want to go through the airlock, surely. Structure gel, cortex chip, battery Don't pack. We need a cortex chip, structure gel, and a power pack to get the suit ready. I'm looking. I'm looking for it. Relax. Give it in a look. Shoes! Like a bowling shoes. What was that? Who there? Stairwell. That one's that one's locked. Robot repair bay. That seems that seems like a kind of place I want to be for some structure gel. That's containment. Robot repair bay. Where would that be? I need to lift this lock down first. Is that like the main thing? That's where I was, right? What do I need to do to do this? Where's the problem? Our room.
get the virus. What? Damn it. What am I doing here? Destroy the WoW. I don't want to destroy the WoW. I need it right now. I think. Damn it. I don't even know. I just need to like fill all of these up. There we go. I did it. I think. Cool. No more lockdown. Let's go and destroy the WoW, apparently. Robot repair bay. This is where I wanted to go. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. Vortex chip diagnostics. Good music. This isn't structure gel though. Optics, motor. actually know what I'm doing here. Why are you so spooky? Did I do it? Got his eyes! Is that what I needed? Grim, isn't it? It's also grim. Strasky, are you there? I hear you, Herbie. What's up? Uh, just wanted to check in. I have to go do something. I might not be around for a few days, okay? Rally her relieving the listening post? Must be important. It is, Strask. It is. Okay then. Stay safe. Omicron, can you hear us? Loud and clear. Is everyone all right? We will be as soon as we make friends with the power suits. I'm sure you'll get used to it. Look at that. Just wanted to check in before we pass the last word from Lumar Pro. Guys, any last words to Omicron? 
Don't forget to pick us up. You uh, heard that, right? Don't worry, we won't forget. All right. Heading into radio silence. Good luck, guys. Tau, please respond. This is Rowley Herber calling from Omicron. Please respond, Tau. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Who's, who's trying to get in contact with me through my eyes? Into the abyss. Take it to Alpha in the abyss. Like what? Wow, what? Is that the wow? Am I in danger or... Sure it is, but what do you want from me? I'm sure it's very important, and I believe you, but I'm trying to get a trying to get my power armor activated. is pretty big isn't it compared to the other places I got like a thing what do I do with a thing nothing seems like I don't have my omni tool All right, let's be more methodical about this. I think we've been everywhere around here, but let's just do a quick sweep, double check. That's the medical bay, right? It is. in here for me? No. Nope. Containment. You aren't doing too great. Looks like it merged with some other kind of fish or shark. It's the freakiest form of mutation we've seen so far. So I'm guessing the, the WoW is also corrupting the sea life around the facility as well. That was cool. I saw it. Hydroponics. East stairwell. So this leads back down. I don't think there's anything even this way.
Must have missed something in one of these rooms then. Stop it! I mean, there's structure gel all over the place. Can't you just like scoop some up? I miss something in here. Don't think so. Very much just running around in circles right now. I'm definitely missing something obvious. Do I just like open the doors or something? Oh, I have to do it per floor? Makes more sense. Let's try the clean room first. It's not obvious to me initially. Oh, what's happening now? I feel sorry for the sound designers. Like the <laughs> the sheer number of sound effects that this game has is insane, isn't it? Everything's got like a unique sound effect. Like, I'm sure they use libraries, but there's still a lot, right, to pick out and pick out and master and whatnot. What happened to everyone's heads? That's what I want to know. Is that what happened to everyone's heads? The structure gel has been charged and actually keeps going for a while, even when removed from a power source. Applied to circuit, it seems to help out with connectivity. It seems like it's not only connectivity, but even functionality. The gel can make simple machinery work and act more efficiently. However, the modifications that the wires made to the gel are full of extra information that doesn't necessarily make sense. When applied to something more complicated, it causes the gel to act as a cancer upon the host, eventually ruining it. Use the gel to our advantage, but it seems it needs to be uncalibrated to get rid of the bad code. Apply gel to dead mouse. The gel caused the mouse to appear alive. It was put in the same habitat as a living mouse. The reanimated mouse is apathetic, while the living one seems stressed. After 15 minutes, the reanimated mouse attacked and killed the living mouse. Mouth? Mouse. Half an hour later, the reanimated mouse stopped moving. But the wow isn't evil, it's just it's just an AI, right? That explains what all this stuff is anyway. Or is it an AI? Like can, is it like an AI or has it just got never seen something at that speed? I have a control chip! Use it.
Oh, poor mouse. Is the wow an AI, or does it have someone's consciousness inside of it? That's the that's the real question, isn't it? What am I doing here? Did I fix it? What did I do? Oh, do I need to fix... Do I need to fix this? Fix that one. Do I need to fix this one? Using this thingy. some structure gel baby what else do i need battery pack I need like a power cell and there's something else too but i forget what that was Freaking dirty work. Alpha is a spooky place that we're gonna end up going to probably. This is some good science fiction though. Very good science fiction. Poor fishies. Again, just the world building's like great, isn't it? So much environmental storytelling. Love games like this. Is there nothing in here, really? Say nothing. There's storytelling in here, but... Stop it! Jesus, that was a mouthful. 
You've been listening to Cameron, that's for sure. What do you want, Raleigh? <laughs> Can you blame me for trying to figure this out? I've been having the dreams too, you know. I don't know what to believe. Oh, I know. Everything from the sudden signal amplification in black boxes to having a comatose Dr. Ross locked up in the glass jar. We've all been going a bit nuts. Tell me about it. Feels like my head's about to explode. Hypothetically speaking, could we stop the WoW from mutating? It doesn't work like that. Even if there was a site alpha? Hypothetically speaking, I guess we could try Rally, are you recording this? Sorry. I just... Sorry. Stop the wow from mutating? What is this? Advanced Mary culture. The abyss climber, that's what I need. Where should I always go left? <laughs> Not even a question. Always go left. To the dining hall. The dining room. Where is everyone's head? Why not have a meeting about the meeting? Sounds familiar. It's not going to work if you don't have a head. Spaghetti! Like, now in my luck, if, I, if we lived in Soma in real life, I'd get put into like a microwave or like a toaster oven or something. I'd be like Talkie Toaster from Red Dwarf. Nothing in the dining hall. Other than a healing point thingy. Operate machinery without safeguards. It's keeping people alive. Damn it. Spooky boy. Got a claw. Go. Over there. This one seems almost really powerful. No, no. 
Over there. That doesn't work. Oh, I do not like this thing. Stupid effective sound design! <laughs> Stupid effective sound design. What on earth? I didn't even get around that thing. Can I not like lure it over there? No. I think I need to get there too. <laughs> That's what the light's telling me. No! Never again! I can't decide if... If me throwing the thing distracted it, or... or what? Either way, that's... that's not a nice boy. So, the lower levels, I guess. How do I get to the lower levels? Jesus! Oh my... Oh my stomach! My heart! My everything! <gasps> ah! You get one jump scare. That's what you get. <laughs> you get exactly one. Oh god, where is it now? Where is it? I need to find the stairwell. I need to go down. Oh, there's no more map. I need to go down. Oh, my whole body hurts now. <laughs> I hit myself in the stomach when I jumped. Where am I even going? It's definitely the creepiest monster of them all, I think. Hello, friend. I've been here already, though. Do I already have the Cortex chip? I think I do, don't I? Oh, I already have it, don't I? <laughs> I didn't need to come down here at all. I just need to get back to the laboratory. No, not this laboratory. Where does I need to get to? I need to get to the...
need to go up, right? No, I'm already up. I need to go... Not in here, right? Uh, have I forgotten? I've, I've got all turned around. Yeah, this way. The dive room. Don't worry about it! Everything is mostly okay. Yeah! Oh, the door's broken. No! Shut the door, Cap! Lock it up! What's happening? Lock the door! It's locked! What's going on? This is a thingy. Managed to piss off another one of WoW's monsters. We have everything we need, right? Yeah. Let's get to work. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. This is crazy. This is crazy. Don't worry, it'll work. I don't like any of this. Sure it's all bunched together with the structure jump connecting all the parts. This is so grim. Alright, try activating the seat from the terminal again. They're just gonna like put me into the They're gonna copy paste me into the thing, aren't they? Oh the existential nightmares! I can't believe we're doing this. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was gonna suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it? Change body? Yes. If you want to stay here, I'm not gonna stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. What would be like before? Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. All right. Let's do it. Thanks. She's lying to you, man. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. <laughs> You're not gonna open your eyes. Someone else is gonna open their eyes. It'll be you, but it won't be you, and it's horrible. We need to loop back the activity manifested by your current cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip. This is a classic puzzle, isn't it, this one? You lost me halfway there. You don't really need to understand it. Just make them line up. This is a classic puzzle. That's everything. You can climb into the pilot seat now. Already? I don't want everything under control, so please. I don't I don't wanna <gasps> Sorry about any discomfort. This should be over soon. It's like having a picture taken. But with the most expensive camera in the world. You know, Indians thought photos would steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. <laughs> it's not funny! Oh shit, that's horrible. What was that? Oh fucking no, hell. That's <gasps> why is it still talking. It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the seat was copied, and now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kath. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were going to take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset you. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. What's going to happen to him? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? That's so cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... 
What if he didn't need to wake up? You'd do that? I don't know. Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in any longer. <sighs> It's copy and paste. So if you were to copy every atom in your body and then send them off to another location in space, but they get recreated into an exact replica of you, then which you is the real you? If you ask them both, they're both going to be completely adamant it's them because they're both you. They both have your memories. Unless you consider that the continued conscious existence... <laughs> Unless you consider that the continued conscious experience of each individual person, each person the same in the same person... You'd have to consider that the, the conscious experience of each copy is still unique. There could be two of me, there could be three of me, there could be a thousand Amy's and for a split second we're all the same person, but we'll all immediately set off on our own separate journeys and we become different people, right? Maybe. But we can't... For the summation of our actions. Done here? Yeah. Activate the Clara, please. Sure thing. <laughs> what a question. How many are there? One or two? Is there still room for me? 
What about the Simon? I killed at Omicron. What do you think, Catherine? Is there a heaven full of redundant copies of the same people? Is there someone up there who called me an imposter? It's dumb luck, right? That I woke up in the right body. I basically flipped a coin, and if I had called the wrong side, I'd be rotting away at Omicron. I mean, there's nowhere to know, right? You didn't hit the make sure Simon wakes up in the right body switch, did you? Not that you would know. I mean, he would still claim to be the right Simon. Christ. This is awful. We did an awful fucking thing. And you wouldn't mind. Why would you? How could you know that it's not me, the me that I am, the same that I've always been? Let me say something. I don't want to think. Please. I don't know what to say. I don't want to upset you. Say anything. When I was little, I used to climb the stairs all the way to the top of the building. And I could still feel how I had to, you know, tuck my arm so I could push the heavy steel door open. Well, the first time that I dared go up there, I stepped out onto the roof and watched the smog rise and fall over Taipei. I got all the way up to the corner ledge and, you know, I felt the warm wind in my hair and the sun was setting and the streets below were shadowed by the tall buildings. The people pushing through the crowd flowed like paint from an artist brush. Street food vendors filled the air with aromas of all my favorite foods. For a brief moment, I felt connected to the world in a way that I never had before. It was the most profound feeling of comfort and sense of belonging I could ever hope for. I really never felt the same way again, but I went up to the roof many times after. I'm not religious, but I can see why people would be. The privilege of being makes a strong case, at least every once in a while. Do you still feel that sense of awe? Even like this? Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. We'll never be able to rebuild or reclaim what we were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are, or is this about the man who went for a scan a hundred years ago? Both, I guess. When I was back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. Even if we make it to the Ark, would it be any different? I'd still be alone. No friends. No family. You could make new friends? I'm sure everyone would like to know the time traveler. If not, you still have... No one. Kath? Hello, Catherine. What happened? Ah, oh, the abyss is just the scariest place to. didn't have philosophobia before, you sure as shit will after this, I think. Although it is beautiful too. Reminds me of when I, when I first, when I was a little girl, when I first saw a David Attenborough documentary about the abyss. Changed my life. Why are we stop moving? The power blacked out for a moment. I think it could be the atmospheric pressure. It's pushing pretty hard, really testing the limits of my suit. Don't worry, it should hold. Comforting. It will hold. Does... Does time freeze when you're not powered? It feels a little more than anything. What's the difference? I don't feel like I'm being held back or hit. And I don't have the opportunity to reflect on the time I'm missing. It's simply missing. Sounds like sleeping without the dreaming. Yes. But generally you anticipate when you're about to sleep, and there's a natural continuation since we tend to wake up where we went to sleep. My experience is more like 
an ever-changing moment that never really seems to find closure. It sounds kind of like a movie being edited live. I suppose so. I guess it sounds exciting, but it really keeps me activated to the point of exhaustion. It's rough. Could be worse. Could be a time traveler stuck in a body made from black goo. That'd be the worst. Like being under anesthetic, almost. When you're under anaesthetic, you fall asleep in one place and wake up somewhere else. You did it! You did it! I will make preparations. What? <laughs> preparations for what? You, are you the guy that's trying to get me to kill the WoW? Do I really have to kill the whale? Oh, good, you're back. What happened? Something dropped onto the cage. Knocks you right out. It spoke to me. It looked like a man, one of WoW's creatures. It just stared at you for a moment, then threw itself down the abyss. It said it would make preparations. I don't like the sound of that. It was very strange. I thought it was going to kill you for sure. Glad it didn't. Yeah, me too. How did it knock him out? Looks like we're closing in on the ocean floor. Good. Not sure the climber can take it much longer. Okay, so this is the Omega Sector. It's about an acre of the abyssal plan used by Pathos 2. I expect we'll have to do some walking before we reach town. You haven't been here before? Not in a way that'll help us. Right, the other you has been here. We're following your old footsteps, Cat. When I had footsteps. You could still be down here somewhere, technically. Don't remind me, freaks me out. Alright, let's head for town and find that arm. Now this is the bottom of the ocean. What on earth was that? Strong torrents expected. be a short walk then I'm sure nothing will possibly go wrong and I won't get lost or anything just follow the lights Jesus did you see that stick to the lamp lights they won't go near them I can't fail Glasser it's important I reach Omicron our future depends on it calm down let's just follow the path if I die, I need you to tell Julia Dahl that the WoW is out of control. She needs to get to Sarang. He'll know what to do. Raj, you can tell them yourself. We just need to pick up the pace, okay? 
Glass. We lost the path. We need to go back. I know where to go. Come on. It's over there. The light is over there. Final push, Ross. Almost there. We just... <laughs> See, if I were making this game and I was really cruel, I'd, I'd put a light off in the distance that you follow and it turns into like a giant one of those fish. <laughs> you know, the angler fish. That's what I'd do. Stay close to the lights. Blue leads to Tau, red leads to the climber. Oh, this is going to be fun. The torrents and the giant deadly sea creatures. Well then. <laughs> Hello. I will be your enemy for this evening. Doesn't like the lights though, right? So all game I've been doing that. Giant squid. It's a mantle the size of a man? Oh the one of those fish, yeah. They're gonna do it, aren't they? <laughs> oh back whale. Squid. Anglerfish. well and good but like the lights end here green light blue lights just keep going are playing tricks on me. I thought something was coming at me then. It's getting worse. This way? Possibly. Am I almost there now? God, I hope so. Just keep going. Tau, 
Can you hear this? Anyone there? This is Tau? Who is this? This is Ian Peterson of Beta calling. I got a team with me, and we're about half a kilometer from Tau. What? How, how did... You came in the climber? Listen, we're having a really hard time with this sector. Heavy turbulence is making it difficult to move forward, and the wildlife you got is absolutely rabid. The storm comes and goes. The instruments show the weather is relatively fair right now. You should move out as soon as possible. Stick to the lights. The critters should leave you alone. All right, you heard the man. We're moving out, people. Tau, keep the doors unlocked. We're coming in. is heading to Tau, so let's follow it. This game is incredible, I love it. Leave me alone. No! Oh shit. Follow the green, I guess. Oh god, I'm lost now. Oh good, sea spiders. This is... this is wonderful. So happy right now. Always go left. Like I said, if you didn't have philosophobia before, you sure as shit do now. Oh, they did it! <laughs> they did the thing! It's a fish! Oh man, it's getting worse. It's getting so much worse, isn't it? Did I make it? Yeah. <laughs> 
Let me in! Oh, thank God. Never thought I'd be so happy to be in another terrifyingly creepy place. What nightmare scenario awaits us? Never been happier to be inside. Tell it's me about now. it. Wait, one of the suits is active? Is that me or Don't think it is. Welcome to Tau. What's left of it? Are you guys all right? What happened here? We ran out of real food long ago. People have been getting sick. Haven't heard from anyone in months. No shit. They all think you're dead down here. Some failed evac story circulating at Omicron. Oh, God. Listen, son. We're on an important mission, and we need your help to operate the Omega Space Gun. When it's done, we can all head back up the plateau. But now we need to get moving. Of course. Head on through to the habitat. We shut off the front section to preserve power. All right. See you soon. I'm not going down there. Tau is not what I expected. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie to you. I guess I've got to go down there. I was expecting it to be a bit more science-y. A bit less, uh, death submarine. is really confusing too, so that'll be fun. That'll be a good laugh, won't it? the lights off for the inevitable monster attack. Oh, and it's definitely going to have a monster behind me when it's doing that, isn't it? Door imaginable. Oh, there's a monster. Okay. The other way around, even. How fast is he? Decent. He was there the whole time! Ah! I literally 
It's gross. <laughs> I literally couldn't go through that door. It's like an it's like an invisible wall. No, he eated my face. He's still there too. Can you just checkpoint me, please? Right, let's be more methodical then. Made it! For now, anyway. I, I've got to try and keep my bearings around my control room. I don't even know where I'm going. I don't even know what my objective here is. This is an effective horror set piece though, that's for sure. This one's working on me. Can you see him? There he is! Run! Shit, where was that door? I was just saying about keeping my bearings. Why was I just saying about keeping my bearings? This way, I think. Keep 
Oh man, that was quite scary actually. Talking about it like it's over. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm wearing headphones too, and that was like right in my ears. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to get to the Ark. This match sounded like a good place to be. Bathroom. Infirmary is unlocked at least. Need a code for that door. No. Oh, okay. Thank you. I access tunnels. Fight proper. Swarm by monsters and no radio, we're fucked. Sure are. I too am fucked, I think. Dive room. Let's head to the infirmary. Since it was locked and all. Leave? I want to leave. Okay. Seem to be you. You're Can I help you with anything? You're on life support. You you're on like actual life support? Are you not <gasps> are you not affected by the well? Nice suit. Used to have one just like it. Go ahead. Make yourself at home. I will. Arc status. Running. It's not Don't mess. Mind me. It's not mess with the. I'm just checking out what's going on. I don't trust you. <laughs> We're not plugged into the WoW though. Photos of... Photos of planet Earth. I mean, say planet, we're on planet Earth, but photos of the surface world from before. No, do not disable the life support, Jesus. Sarah Lindwall. Payload technician at your service. A rare sight. Right? I'd say so. You're the first normal living human I've seen. There's not many left down here. Most of them are up on the plateau. You mean at Omicron? Yeah. There's no one alive at Omicron. You've been there? I've been all over. The power plant at Upsilon. The ruins of Lambda. The abandoned Delta. Theta. You've been to Theta? There's not a lot left of Pathos, too. And, uh, I'm the only living person you've met? <coughs> you mean I'm the last living human on the planet? I'm sorry. Who are you again? Simon Jarrett. Stationed out? Nowhere. I, 
I used to work in a bookshop in Toronto. Long story. Then what the hell are you doing here? I'm trying to find the Ark. Why would you? How do you know about that? I've heard it's the last hope for mankind. Damn right it is. Now what do you want with it? Take it to the gun at Phi. Launch it into space. That was the plan, all right. I've been guarding it ever since we brought it back to Tau. I just couldn't bring myself to let go. Tell you the truth. I don't have the strength to argue. And I certainly don't have the time to wait for the next sentient thing shuffling through here. Go ahead. Take it. Thank you. Can I get you anything? Do anything for you? You could kill me. Good one. I still can't believe I'm the last one. It's crazy. If I knew you'd come, I would have cleaned this place up a little bit. Are you serious about me killing you? No, I'd love to hang around here until I dry up to the size of a raisin. Simon, this fucking sucks. <coughs> I don't want to live like this. I'm glad you came by. Good to get this over with. <laughs> oh, this is what it's all been leading up to. <laughs> this game has just been throwing so much at you, hasn't it? There's no getting around this. There's no... There's no philosophizing. This is... This is straight up a person who wants to die. And the last human, even. What do you... What do you even do? It's what she wants. She has no future at all, does she? Down here on the bottom of the ocean. The very bottom of the ocean on life support. The very last human. It's the theme of this game, isn't it? That... What's more important to you, the sanctity of life or the quality of life? I don't... I don't know. <laughs> Carl Jung said it best that our free will merely clashes with necessity. We don't know these answers. We don't know what makes up our souls. Life is too fleeting to be able to fully understand any of this. We don't. We don't and we probably never will live for long enough to ever truly know ourselves. So what right do we even have to be making these decisions on behalf of others? It's, it's what she wants. <laughs> oh, I'm not a good person, am I? Would you stay with me, please? It won't be long now. Just... Please, just stay. What a crazy thing this was. Life. At least I won't have to turn 30. Hooray! Wish I could have died at home with my friends. You ever been to Greenland? It's very beautiful. Well, at least when you get out of the city. Nanok is busy, and yes, there's like 12 million people trying to get around, but it's a great place. Or rather, it was a great place before the comet ended it all. You know what? I prefer it this way. I liked Pathos. Liked my colleagues. Ian, Nick, Jasper, even Kath. People thought she was weird because she was quiet, but she was cool. 
Simon, you're still there? I'm here, Sarah. Don't let him die, okay? Send them out there. To the stars. I am so depressed. Black box is inactive. Probably found a way to switch it off. No way I can climb a ladder while carrying the arc like this. I say I'll swallow everything, but what's even left? Bleeding through walls. 
I don't know what WoW could possibly stand to gain from this, but I assume it is intention. The heart of WoW has claimed such a large part of the core chamber that there can no longer be any question to its heightened awareness. Not only does its expansion suggest an unexpected understanding of space, but also its own physical manifestation within the world. The WoW is reaching out to every machine, every life form, to manipulate, to control. It's trying to help save its creators from all this, just like the protocol demands. But really, what is good enough? Where is the line drawn for what is human and what is not? Would walking corpses do? Would a group of machines thinking they're human be acceptable? We can't trust a machine to know, to understand what it means to be. We have to terminate the WoW project. It can be done. I just need to get some help from Omicron. I'm still here. I'm just very, very, very sad. What on earth is going on in here? Thank you. Can't we do anything for him? No. We're out of sedatives. If we had a gun, this would be the time to pull it out. <sighs> Did not expect it to end like this. Should have jumped the climber back to Omicron. Without the Ark? Forget about the Ark. No, you don't get to say that. It's the only thing left of value. You know that. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Promise you won't leave it behind. We'll all be dead one day. Then what? Well, better keep it safe until then. Don't want the wild to take it, swallow it whole. Uh, I'm sorry, Catherine. It's okay, Ian. Just let it out. Let it all out. Where exactly am I taking this? Probably to the dive room, right? I need to send it down or does it... We need to get it to fire, don't we? I don't think this game's quite over yet.
hell was that? Please don't be a spooky monster on the other side. Okay. <laughs> Thought we had another puzzle to solve or something. Unable to equalize pressure. Right, where are we going? Not jumping over. I'll just use my hands. his muscles. The Warden? You mean WoW? Well, down here he has many names. Warden, the Alpha. Like in Sight Alpha? I thought that was made up. Made up. <laughs> then someone should really fire Johan Ross. Tell him there's no reason to walk these tunnels no more. This section is gonna collapse. You should try spending some time in the abyss, sweetheart. You know when shit's for real. Catherine, move up. Come with me. Oh, okay. Hey, wait for me! Careful with the Ark! Take it easy, it's not going to... going to collapse.
So where are we headed? I'm hurrying. Relax. It's gonna go into this death hole a minute. It looks almost alien, doesn't it? Very Geiger-esque. Creepy is what it is. So is this where the wow is? Guessing it is, right? where they built it and then it just got out of control. Just tell me what you want. I need you to stop the wow. What? How? The enslaved protein sloshing around your suit is the news from which the wow will hide itself. What are you talking about? As soon as I came to an Omicron, I tried to tell them to make the toxin that would make the wow with it. But they didn't understand. They put it inside the cabinet. was so infuriating. They needed to take it to Alpha, the fountainhead of the misery we created. And then the girl, she figured it out. She was going to take care of it, but in a while, I shrieked. Saying this toxin inside of me can kill the wow altogether? You are the snake, Simon. Now strike at the heart. Is the wow? What the hell is that? Heart. It controls all the structure gel on Pathos 2. All you need to do is poison the imprint, and the heart will unwillingly spread it across Pathos 2, killing it. Feed it, Simon. Push your arm into the heart. I'm guessing I don't need to, though. Come on. So, do we stop the WoW? It's it's following its protocol, it's keeping everyone alive at all costs, that's what it's designed to do. It's not self-aware or emotional, I don't think. Don't let the WoW continue producing its filth. Kill it. Take it easy. I feel like, after everything we've been through in this game, 
That's a moot point now, isn't it? That's not even the question that this game's asking me anymore. Force your arm inside it. Back off, okay? What even separates the WoW from what's became of humanity at this point? A comatose person is still a person. Please, Simon. I still have a right to life. And the WoW is the reason every single one of these people we've met are still alive or... or present or whatever you want to call like this. If we destroy the WoW, we kill all of those as well. It's like asking me if I kill the only person that matters to me to save the rest of the world. Come on. Do it. Something I've asked myself way more times than you consider reasonable and... <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Is the sanctity of life more important than the quality of life? Take it easy. No more killing. If you don't finish this, I'll make you. Have it your way. Don't! You have to do this, Simon. This is bigger than both of us. Did the world just protect itself? Because... Wouldn't that... Isn't that like life? Just get the hell out of here. You gotta launch this arc. might be alive, you know? <laughs> we gotta get this arc launched. What, e what else even is there at this point? Other than a digital afterlife, eternity among the stars. Eternity among the stars for a version of you at least. But not like... Not you. You know? The other you. What a beautiful concept. What a beautiful and horrifying concept. Spine chilling. Be 
please tell me this is five. Did we make it? God, I hope we made it. The Ark made it here in one piece. Yeah, seriously. No oh, Healy boys. Before I put the thing on. Catherine. Can you hear me? I hear you. This is Vi. What happened to Tab? A lot, actually. But we're back on schedule now. Did you find the Ark? I did, but I kind of lost it on my way here on an automated tram thing headed to Vi. So it should be around somewhere. That's great. Let's go get it. Let's. After 10 years of impeccable operation on the Omega space gun, we'll shut down. We took an apop apocalypse to be made redundant. Did you find out what happened to the Ark team? Not really. For some reason, they didn't go through with the launch, so they took the Ark back to Tau. I hope everything's okay with the space gun. Yeah, I doubt I'll be able to repair one of those. <laughs> Feels like the longest day of my life. Has it just been one day? I have no idea. Our time together is a confusing patchwork of moments to me. What time is it then? What day? It's May 11th, 2104, 3.30 a.m., but I don't remember when we started. Uh. I feel like it's been about a day. You know, I woke up in my bed today. It just happens to have happened a hundred years ago. Sounds like a riddle. It does. I woke up in my bed today, a hundred years ago. <laughs> Who am I? Who am I? Look, like after this game, I'm going to be asking myself that for the rest of my freaking life. It's crazy to think where I am. Not only is this the future, it's in the middle of the sea. I know nothing of this time or what the world looks like. Not much to brag about now. Before the comet, I guess it was okay. Yeah. Better not oversell it. Might change my mind about the Ark. Alright, found the Ark. Good 
job, Simon. Now we just need to find the assembly space so we can stuff the ark into a shell. What will you do when you get into the ark? What's the first thing? Make sure the ark is safe, stabilize flight path, activate solar panels. Well, what's the first human thing you're gonna do? Oh. Watch the clouds roll by? Does that count? I'd say so. Where exactly am I cramming this thing? Are you suggesting we keep it down here? Doesn't that defeat the whole purpose? Eternity among the stars, remember? The people inside the Ark won't know the difference. We can just keep it down here, and we don't have to risk the Ark being shot through 5,000 meters of broken barrel, and then push through another 100,000 meters of a dust-filled atmosphere. Will the casing stand all that pressure? Well, the odds aren't great. Catherine, say something. I don't care what you think. I'm launching it. No need to be like that. Let's just hang on to it for a while and think about it. We can launch it later. No, that wasn't the deal. We needed to save them. To launch it. Out there, it's hope. Down here, it's a fucking terrarium waiting to die with the rest of us. Come on, Catherine. It's not asking much. Let's just think about it before we risk the only hope humanity has to survive this hell. No, we launch it today. This is my project, my arc. It's bigger than that. Don't you get it? It's not for you to decide. We're talking about the fate of mankind. Get away from the arc. I'm taking it. No, you're not. I'm not going to let you ruin this. Stop it. Guys, calm down. Get away from me. No. It was an accident. Catherine, talk to me. Catherine. Oh, God. Catherine. Did you say something? It's you. You had an accident. What are you? Oh. You mean Catherine. Don't worry, it's better this way. Oh, my soul. Just stop game, I've had enough. I'm stuck. I've had enough now, just stop. I think I found the assembly space. What do you see? It's like a huge open shell, a bullet ready to be loaded. That's great, all prepared for the arc. On it. Catherine. I know I'm not an easy person to like. I just thought they trusted me. Come on, don't do this to yourself. Did they drag her into here or? Did you have friends in Toronto, Simon? Real friends? There were some. Jesse. Sean? Kevin? I always wanted a friend. Like a real one. Someone you'd never hold back with. I'll be your friend. Oh, pity friendship? Now I feel even worse. Do you think the Ark will make it through the atmosphere and into space? It almost doesn't matter anymore. We just need to try. If we burn, we burn. If we're lucky... Is that it? I'm really not that familiar with guns of any size. Oh, here we go. All systems say go. Lock and load. Uh, I got it. We'll head out to the gun.
Now what? Now we just need to get the shell onto the gun and then... Kaboom. Aren't you forgetting something? How are you gonna get us on board the Ark? Don't we need to make another scan? Oh, don't you worry. You don't operate something like the Omega Space Gun with your bare hands. You mean... It's a pilot seat? Like back at Omicron? Yes, and we can use it to transfer you to the Ark while operating the gun. Two birds and all that. Now, take the Omni tool and plug it in next to the seat and I'll guide you through the final steps. Simon! How are you not understanding this? You're still not getting it, Simon! Oh man, this looks cool. Oh. I'll never get used to that. Guess you won't have to. Not after this is over. Right. Have a seat. as it's gonna get. Okay, I'll activate the seat. You should be able to use the machines to load the bullet you assembled. How do you operate this thing? Don't know, I never tried this one. But pilot seats are notoriously easy to use, so it shouldn't be a problem. This is pretty easy to use. There we go. Okay, ready when you are. Just hit the button and we're off. But we need to transfer our minds to the Ark. We also need to make sure it launches at all, so I tied them to a single switch. Just push the button and we're off. Deep breath. Here we go. No turning back. Thank you, Simon. Don't mention it. It's an amazing thing you did. And I want you to know I appreciate it. Time. 20 seconds. What's the matter with the upload? Just give it a second. I thought you guys would have better bandwidth in the future. One of you made Catherine? it. Catherine? One of you made it. Here. What the hell happened? What went wrong? Nothing. They're out there, among the stars. We're here. No. We were getting on the Ark. I saw it. It finished loading just before it launched. Yeah, I saw. Then why are we still here? Simon, I can't keep telling you how it works. You won't listen. You know why we're here. You were copied onto the Ark. You just didn't carry over. You lost the coin toss. We both did. 
Just like Simon and Omar Khan, just like the man who died in Toronto a hundred years ago. This is bullshit. We came all this way. We launched the Ark. I know it sucks, but our copies are up there. Catherine and Simon are both safe on the Ark. Be happy for them. Are you crazy? We're gonna die down here with those fuckers living at large on a spaceship. They're not us. They're not us. I'm sorry you feel that way, Simon. I'm proud of what we did. We made sure that something of the hundreds of thousands of years of human history survived, that something lives on. No, 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 no. Fuck this. Fuck. Fuck this. Fuck you. Fuck you, Catherine. You lied. And I believed in you. I trusted you. You said we're getting on the fucking Ark. We are on the Ark, you idiot. I didn't lie. I can't be responsible for your goddamn ignorance. You fucking... <laughs> Catherine? Please don't leave me alone. Catherine? Catherine? Absolutely haunting. I will carry this experience with me for the rest of my life. I don't... I don't have any more words. Whoa. Is this... did it work?
bathroom? Catherine! I can't believe we actually made it. Well, we did. I'm so relieved. It's okay, Simon. Everything's all right now.